Welcome to a new test and teardown video. Here is another Danbridge, 12 kV, non-destructive insulation tester. This one is called type JP2. <sighs> this one is old, but it is also in a very sad condition. I mean, look at the case. Somebody's been standing on this, uh, using it for a chair or whatever. And it's a little bit crusty, crusty all over the place. Some gross stuff down here. And see, I didn't even clean this up. It's full of spider webs and dust, thick layer of dust and crusty yikes. <laughs> but it got exactly the same feature features as the new one. Ampli Oh, you can hardly move that one. We've got some amplifier gain on off, some fuses, external switch. What kind of connector is that? Okay, a PL259. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. And also, you can select between 6 and uh, 12 kilovolt. Then test probe even looks a little bit like the new one as well I mean so they repeated the design more or less let's try and compare this one with a like 30 40 years newer model <laughs> yeah a lot happened right look at the size so that's the JP12, and that is the JP2. Good old antiques. How about we put them on a <laughs> scale and see uh, the the weight difference? Oh, that was tough. So that's two kilos versus ten kilos. Oh my god! I don't dare to plug this in before I open and have a look, at least a little bit of inspection. Oh man, phew, that was tough with all this moving this stuff around. Let's let's have a look at the back. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that is good. Even with good ground chassis for your experiments. So I think that should be fairly easy to open oh my god that needs a lot of cleaning so I think that will be mains transformer the lid on that pot meter is here and then I found a little loose knot that was all in the case I mean it's quite crusty I wouldn't be surprised to find like a bird's nest or anything in here as well. I mean, <laughs> this one was stuck in somebody's dungeon for the last 30 years. Oh, yo, yo. That is some. Um... But we got all the bottles ready here. So that's kind of what it is, right? An EL, what, 36? And what have we got here? Some high voltage uh, regulation stuff. Oh, can I? Is that safe to? No, I don't know. I wanted to flip it over, but I'm a little bit afraid to. Oh, look at that. Is that a variable capacitor? And then conductor so there's a an oscillator of some sort here right I think that is what we got here on this side <laughs> I wonder what's in the can oh, let's inspect what we got here before we do the major major cleanup oh this is where the nut was so somebody is loose here so that's probably a screw as well and that will be the little loudspeaker. Oh, that is cute. Well, sometimes we can find 
Yucka, yucka, yuck here. That is nice. Poof. Selenium rectifiers, high voltage capacitors, and all that kind of goodies. Oh, that cable, that is a high voltage cable coming out of the good thing. And that goes out. Let's. Yeah, who wants to look in here, right? Ooh, yo, yo. This is where all the nasty stuff is. Oh, that is so cute. Wow, look at that. We got all the nice stuff. And that is so nice and clean in here. Hapa, hapa. What have we got here? <laughs> What is in there? In that one? And that is a capacitor, right? And some round thingy thingy here and another capacitor. That is of course a rectifier. Tube. Some super cool transformer right there. I totally love it. This is going to be so much fun to see if we survive powering up this thing. I mean, what exactly is in here? Some soft material and then there's a wire going in. Oh, all oh, this is in a, in a socket. Look at that. So that means we can... Yeah, that means we can... Poke this up. Maybe this is a. Uh, that's not a socket. But wow, that is definitely a great find. That is going to be fun. Let's look in the pack. This is all loose. I need to be careful when I. So now it's flipped over. It looks like it is actually able to stand on all of its sides because if you look at this edge and that edge, that means I am perfectly safe. So it's always good to know you can flip this thing in all because I think I'm going to need that. So there's a relay here, probably what activates all the good stuff. I wonder if this cable is also the classic double shielded for for the remote for the test button like the they, they do in the new model but I mean those four screws and I can go into the high voltage section oh yeah so how is this Look at that, a sticky relay. So the, the spring here is not powerful enough to release it. That is going to be a problem. Okay, so that definitely needs a little bit of service. At least I need to expect it will stay on when I release the test button. What else can we see? All sorts of... Ooh, those are sticky, sticky. <laughs> oh, look at that loudspeaker. I'm actually still looking for something with a date or a year code anywhere. So if you happen to know how old this unit is, please comment if I don't figure something out during the next few hours, I will be playing with this. So how do you like this picture?
Now I cleaned it up a little bit. That really helped, right? Oopsie! I forgot a little spot right there. Oh no, I better fix that. So that looks really nice. Let's hope I can make this work now. A lot of water and then some alcohol. And then it is nice. This one is still super stiff. I also got a trick for that. That easy. You want to know my secret trick about sticky knobs? All you have to do is unscrew. Unscrew the knob here and put some alcohol with a cotton pot directly on the shaft. Exactly where the shaft go into the pot. Just like a big blob of alcohol. High concentrated alcohol. Then put the knob on the very tip of the shaft and then start to exercise it a little bit and uh, re-add a few drops of alcohol and then you see super nice and smooth and this actually continues to work for the next 10 years it's, this pot is now salt when it comes to the, the sticky sticky pot problem oh, this one actually could use a little drop because now this one is just look how nice that is <laughs> it's almost too easy. So I've been cleaning up all over the place here. I'm dusting everything with a very, very soft paint brush. Something like this outside and then careful, careful. And then it's all going to be nice and shiny. So the other tube down there is also an EL36. So we've got two of those. And uh, I think I am ready to try and power this up. I mean, I think I dare to do this. Are you ready? Are you with me? Do you believe in this? Yeah, okay, let's just do the power on. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually turning on the unit and then I'm turning on my variable YO and then we're gonna okay nothing ah I'm an idiot this is on obviously <laughs> I'm playing too long <laughs> time with American products let's try again yes we got a little bit of power and that is 50 volts 6 watts 100 volts 15 watts 150 volts I mean, I can easily go up here, so there's, so, okay, 220 volts, 40 watts of idle. We've got a beautiful power on lamp. Let's turn on the, I mean, let's turn off the light. Oh yeah, look at that. We got glow, glow in the lamps. And I hear some hummity hummity here. I mean, how about we just push the button? What I did is I cranked down both of the pots. So this is the amplifier. Oh, this is good. I mean, this is a good sign, because this is not too loud. And then what? 
of course nothing I put it in six kilovolts how about I push the the button here on the handle the handle is connected to my high voltage probe and this is all the way down so or obviously we know we got a sticky relay so what is going to happen now ready ooh, ooh, ooh. did you hear this Yeah, 300 volts. I get output. Oh, oh. Okay, we are we're feeling lucky, aren't we? Look at that. It ramps up. 100 and ooh, one and a half kilovolts. Let's see if we can do that. So how is that correct? One and a half kilovolts. That is the six. Let's get some light on the meter here, right? Oh, let's try and do that again. That felt good. So on that one, one and a half thousand volts. And on that meter, 1.3 or something, right? 1.4 if you're lucky. Let's see if it's zeroed. So there's probably a pot to adjust that one. I mean, hey, it works. And we even got a little bit of... I totally love this. It bloody works. So the question is, do I feel lucky? I think it's still a little bit difficult to do this with only one hand because I want to dial the voltage. I think this was still 1.5, yeah? Boing. I can also just do it like this, right? 2.8 I love the relay sound So we've got 4 kilovolts now but the meter says 3.5 Let's just hammer this all the way up So this is in 6 kilovolt mode Let's do it Five. Power consumption is 65 volts. So that was a little bit disappointing. Can't do six. So let's crank it to 12 volt. Uh, 12 kilovolt. Let's give it a little bit here and see what happens. Okay. Sixty-three watts. Okay, six and a half kilovolts. Maybe I should change the range like that, right? Oh, did you hear that? Seven point nine eight kilo volts, eighty two watts. Is it using? Okay, I feel lucky. Let's just do it and see what happens. Okay, I want to move a little bit away from the high voltage probes. Nine point seven nine point eight kilo volts, and. Uh, 90 watts of power very close to 10 kilovolts if i wait a little bit it's probably gonna be there right so that is really cool it works yay